All right, so we've still got 46 days until Christmas, 16 days until Black Friday, and yet holiday shopping season is already getting going with a lot of major retailers like Target, Walmart and Home Depot starting up their big sales last week. Yeah, it has been going and if it seems like it's getting earlier every year, you're probably right. And having this come in the middle of a pandemic has pushed things even earlier. Yeah, so why is that exactly? Joining us live to discuss is Samantha Christman, Buffalo News business reporter and columnist. It's really good to have you on the show. Thanks for your time, Samantha. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. And you know, shopping habits have been changing already for quite a while, you know, as it is. What do you think has been the biggest impact of the pandemic on how we shop? Well, first of all, people, um, it's funny you say Black Friday is 16 days away because people have been shopping so much earlier than ever. Um, they say 80% of people have already begun shopping. Some people started shopping as early as August or even earlier. Um, people who, who started shopping in August, 80% of those people started shopping way earlier. So what happened was a lot, a lot of people were home, they weren't working or they were just home a lot more. They all started shopping for Christmas presents. Um, a lot of people who, um, are worried about how they're going to pay for things possibly are trying to budget their money a little bit better. So they're looking for deals they're looking for the best prices. Um, so a lot of that Christmas shopping has shifted um, online. So with, you know, Black Friday sales already going on, really, um, what stores already have the discounts and how are they going to compare with what we actually see the day after Thanksgiving? Well, it's funny because in years past, what they had was they were always hyping. They were using the word Black Friday to hype up their regular sales. Um, what they do is they would start the sales early because they know that the, the sooner that people start shopping, the more that they spend. So most of the, the, the use of the word Black Friday was just to get people excited. But this year, it really is more like a true Black Friday that they're holding sooner um, because they really need people to spend that money sooner. Um, so they, um, these stores, they don't know if they're going to be open on the true Black Friday. So they need people in the door. Um, they're holding their real Black Friday sales. Um, the prices, people have, have come to expect that the prices they're finding on Black Friday, that the jig is up. They know that those aren't always the best prices that you're gonna find during the year. People have the internet, they can price check, they can follow prices. Um, so retailers know that already anyway. So they are, they are, um, they are offering fantastic deals that people know these are, these are great deals and they're gonna grab them when they, while they can, while they're there. Anytime we do a story like this, we often hear from small business owners saying to us, don't forget about us. And we know a lot of small businesses are really struggling this year. Are you expecting that this might be a year that people actually embrace shopping locally? Yes, and that's already happening. It's a wonderful silver lining to all of this. Um, we, I've talked to so many small business owners who have said that people are shopping here be, you know, solely because they, they support us. They've said, um, you know, I, I'm here because, you know, I don't really need this smoothie or this jacket, but I just want to support you. And I want to make sure that you're here when all of this is over. Um, and people just realize now that people understand what a supply chain is. They understand what, what stock and inventory is. They understand more about how a business works just because of the way things have happened with shortages and things like that. So they understand when I every purchase that I make has a consequence. Um, so they, they want to support their small businesses. And I think this is the first year people talk about it every year. I want to support small businesses. I want to go out on small business Saturday. This is the first year I think we're really going to see that impact happen. Finally, Samantha, let's talk about online shopping. And, and it's interesting as we talk about local places, a lot of them are really getting into this online game, um, you know, because you're, you're kind of forced to just to compete, right? And it's no longer just Amazon. I mean, you have the other big stores like Walmart and Target doing, shifting so many of their resources to the online sales. Um, do you think maybe the pandemic is, is just going to be the end of the big in-person crowds because everybody is just focusing online? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's it's there was already the shift heading that way this has hastened it the people who were very very resistant to shopping online because there was still that crowd this is just people had were forced to use it and they've gotten comfortable with it so now they've headed that way and i just want to remind you as well um that a lot of the small businesses that did, did not do business online they were forced to they were forced to move online they were forced to understand how all of that works as well so now you have a lot more options when it comes to shopping online with small businesses as well and for more great info like this, be sure to check out Samantha's reporting with the Buffalo News. Samantha, thanks again. Thank you, guys. Yeah, great to see you. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. Remember to keep texting us your questions and comments. 849-2200 is our text number. And stay right here. Scott and Mary Alice are back with Channel 2 News at 6.